Hey there! In this video, I will show you how to recreate the granny square bucket hat that Red Velvet's Joy wore in her music video for Hello. This project is perfect for the summer season just like Joy's Peppy solo debut album. So whether you're an avid Revel love or just someone who wants to make a stylish crochet bucket hat, I hope you find this video helpful and easy to follow. For this project, you will need balls of yarn in two colors of your choosing. Make sure that you get 100 grams or two balls of one color and 50 grams or one ball of the other. I used a 4.5mm crochet hook, but you can also use a 4mm hook. It really depends on how thick your yarn is and how big you want your stitches to be. You'll also need a darning needle and scissors. Once you've got your materials ready, we can start at the first round. To begin, create a magic circle with a 50 gram yarn. Simply loop it around your index and middle fingers twice, pick up the lower loop, twist it to the right, and pull through. Make sure to tug it nice and tight to complete your magic circle, then chain two. After chain two, make your first double crochet into the magic circle. You have to make 15 double crochet stitches in total. So, yarn over into the magic circle, pull through two loops and another two loops. Once complete, make sure to count all stitches including chain 2. There should be 16 stitches around the magic circle. Carefully pull the loose end to make the stitches meet. Don't pull too tight and leave a tiny hole in the middle. Finish round 1 by making a slip stitch through the second chain in chain 2. Pick up the yarn through the loop again before cutting the yarn. Make sure to tug it tight. Grab your scissors and cut the yarn. Pull the string through and tighten. There you go, you're round one. For round two, you will be using the second collar which you will join with round one. Crafters have their own way of joining yarn and pieces together and I would usually start in the knot, but for this project, I chose to just continue as though the second collar is part of the first round. Don't worry, it won't unravel easily and it will also look neater. After picking up the yarn, chain 2. You'll be making cluster stitches for this round. In the same stitch, begin just as how you would with a regular double crochet, but leave it partially complete like so. Then start another double crochet into that same stitch again, holding the loose end securely. You will end up with three loops around your hook. Pull through all three and chain two. Repeat the same process for the rest of the round, stitching over the loose end to hide it.
Take note that you will be ending up with 4 loops in each set over the succeeding stitches. of cluster stitches in round 2. You should have 16. Finish the round by making a slip stitch into the second chain of chain 2 where you started. Just like in round 1, pick up the yarn again, cut it, and pull the end to lock the stitches together. Tug the yarn in the back side and feel free to trim the ends that you hid throughout the round. And that completes your round two. Start round three in any of the spaces you created in round two. Pull the yarn securely, hold it in place, pull it securely, and chain 3. You will be making three triple crochets into each stitch for this round. Sew yarn over twice into the space, pull through, pull through two loops, two loops again, and finally the last two loops. Once you've made three, chain two. Repeat the process for the rest of the round. When you get to the end, make a slip stitch into the third chain of where you started. And pull through again to lock it in place. Cut the yarn and tug it nice and tight to secure the round. We'll be making the corners and edges of the granny square in round 4. Join your yarn and chain 3 to start the first edge of the square. end and make a double crochet over it.
double crochet. Make a set of three and again for the next two spaces. Once you have three sets, we'll be making the first corner into the fourth space with a triple crochet. Make two more triple crochets into the same space. chain two and make three more triple crochets in that same space Repeat the process for the rest of the round. Once you have all four corners and edges, complete the square by joining the stitches together with a slip stitch into the topmost chain of where you started. This completes round four. For round five, without cutting the yarn, you will make the edges of the square thicker with three types of stitches, starting with chain one and a single crochet. Continue making a series of single crochets into each succeeding stitch until you reach the corner space. Once you reach the first corner, make four single crochets into the space. a bit complicated so listen closely. Make single crochets into the next seven stitches. In the next two stitches make two half double crochets. So yarn over, pull through and pull through all three loops and make it again. And finally, make double crochets into the last five stitches before reaching the corner space. Just 
like what we did earlier, make 4 single crochets into the corner space. For the rest of this edge, just make a single crochet into each stitch until the corner space where you will place 4 single crochets again. For the third edge, you will be making a reverse version of the opposite side. This makes the second half of the square wider for the brim of the hat. So start with 5 double crochets, then 2 half double crochets, and the remaining 7 single crochets until the last corner space. Make 4 single crochets into the last corner space. Then single crochets for the remaining stitches of the first edge. To chain 1 and make a slip stitch to complete your granny square. Finally, cut the yarn and pull through. This is how one granny square for this project looks like. And you will make four of these. For the top of the hat, you only have to make single crochets throughout round 5. The 4 granny squares get wider towards the base for the brim, while this one goes on top. You will notice that there are still a couple of loose ends that you were not able to hide in the stitches. That's okay. Just get your darning needle to help you weave in the ends. If the yarn is too short, you can insert the needle into the stitches first. Then thread the yarn into the eye of the needle. And pull through all the stitches before cutting. Same the other loose ends to get a nice and neat granny square. Once all five granny squares are ready, it's time to join them together. Simply make two pieces meet with the back sides facing each other, then you will join the edges using single crochet stitches. You will start stitching from the second stitch of the corner space. Insert your hook into one granny square and then count two again for the other. 
and insert your hook. Then grab the other colored yarn and pull through both stitches and chain one. Make sure to tug the strings to tighten the loop. Hold the loose end down the edge securely as you will be stitching over it. Insert your hook into the next stitch to begin making your series of single crochets across the edge of both granny squares. Just repeat the process for each stitch like so. second stitch of the corner space. The stitches should look clean on the edge. Like before, cut your yarn and pull through. Then weave the loose ends into the stitches in the back side of the granny squares. Just cut the excess yarn and pull the sides to hide any visible tails. This is how the crown of your hat will look like once you've joined all four squares. For the top, you'll simply repeat the single crochet joining method for all four sides. yarn in the back side of the hat. Cut the excess yarn, turn the hat right side out, and that completes the top and crown of your hat. start the brim of the hat. Insert your hook in one corner and join it with the yarn. Tug the loose end and hold it in place, then chain one. Make a single crochet into the next stitch, then two single crochets into the following stitch. This is your increase to make the brim floppy. 
Repeat the process alternating single crochet and increase stitches throughout the round. Finish the round with a single crochet and lock it with a slip stitch in the chain one you made at the start of the round. This is how your hat should look with the first round of the brim. For the second round of the brim, you'll be making shell stitches. You can start in any corner of the hat. I choose this one. <laughs> Insert your hook, grab the yarn, and join it with your project and chain one. In the same stitch, make a single crochet. Skip one stitch and make five double crochets into the second stitch. The five double crochet stitches once completed will look like a tiny fan or shell. Hence the name. <laughs> Skip a stitch again and make a single crochet into that second stitch. So you will just repeat the pattern throughout the rest of the round, skipping one stitch and alternating between a single crochet and five double crochets. Towards the end, finish the round at the last stitch with a single crochet. For rounds 3 to 5, you'll just continue the shell stitches. To do this, connect to the top of the third double crochet with another single crochet. Then, in the single crochet you made in round 2, insert 5 double crochets to make another shell stitch. This is the pattern you will follow for the rest of rounds 3 to 5. One single crochet at the top of the third double crochet of the shell, then five double crochets into the top of the single crochet below. Some crafters would lose count of the rounds, so to avoid this issue, you can make use of a stitch marker to keep track of your rounds. Round 5, 
simply finish with a single crochet at the top of the shell. Pull through, cut, and tighten. Of course, you will have to weave in the excess yarn again. At this point, your bucket hat is taking shape and is nearly complete. For the last round of the brim, you will be adding a decorative edge. Just grab your yarn and join it with the hat. So insert your hook, pull through, chain 1, and make a half double crochet, which you will be repeating over the succeeding stitches until the end of the round. Once you've made a half double crochet on each stitch around the edge of the brim, finish and lock the round with a slip stitch into the chain 1 you made at the start of the round. Make sure to pull nice and tight cut and weave in the loose end. And finally, you're done! This hat really makes for a great accessory, especially if you're out on a holiday, hitting the beach or some outdoorsy destination. But hey, you can also wear it for when you have to run some errands. Just pick a color combination that will suit your style and personality. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit like and subscribe because I'm going to upload more K-pop and DIY related content in this channel. Maybe. For the complete written pattern, head on over to my blog. I've included a link in the description box so you can easily visit and bookmark it. See you again soon!